in our case we should understand by this incident of ananji bai that whenever whatever time or whatever command given by guruji for us we should remain ready to follow if we cannot follow his commands then it's sure that we cannot have from faith we cannot believe that this is uh this is the form of bhagwan we cannot believe that's true and if we can follow his commands then our resolve our from faith is also proved here uh, immediately ananji prepared the wooden garland and joyfully walked around town when passerby asked him why he was doing this then he revealed with overflowing enthusiasm that it was his guru's command the another thing is that no satpurush is ready to give us such kind of agnya such kind of command today but today for us many different kinds of commands are there from the satpurush like become a sadhu maybe not only that but perform the daily puja every day come to mandir every saturday or sunday or engage yourself in bal sabha or youth sibir whatever such kind of very easy to follow commands for us from the satpurush and if we cannot follow this then we are we are not able to say for ourselves that we are devotees here anand ji had follow maharaj command and not doubt maharaj would become extremely pleased but rajbai his wife was not pleased by the way the town folk ridiculed her husband for his jealous devotion this created more friction between the two and so maharaj told anand ji not to attend any satsang events for the time being so maharaj now want to taste another time the result of ananji and this was a shock for ananji because maharaj gave command not to attend any satsang assembly or not to go not even visited the mandir not do darshan not meet any hari bhaktos not only that but even though ananji was pleaded to maharaj maharaj please forgive me if i have made any kind of mistake still maharaj said maharaj even told the other devotees to shun anand ji like an outcast meaning don't talk with him do not let him come inside the mandir not only that not let him allow to come uh, allow to come to the assembly so in this way maharaj gave command to the other devotees and the other devotees the young and old male and female all treated him with like outcast so anand uh, in this way sri ji maharaj himself insulted had insulted the devotee meaning anand ji and still he did, didn't have anything in his mind so anand ji bai would sit outside the mandir compound to listen to the kirtans and spiritual talks meaning katha and would clean the devotee's shoes while sitting outside so this was the situation meaning even though maharaj had insulted anand ji bai still he was listening katha and kirtans doing darshan from outside of the mandir and while staying there he was cleaning the shoes of the devotees so not for one day or two days in this way six months passed then again sri ji maharaj came to mangrol then again sri ji maharaj asked the other devotees why anand ji was not coming then the devotee said maharaj you told us not to let him come to the assembly or to the mandir then sri ji maharaj himself invited 
Ananjiba and he himself become extremely pleased upon him and he embraced him. Not only that, but Sri Ji Maharaj asked him, Do you know why I had insulted and rejected you in this way? Then Ananji said, No, Maharaj. Uh, then Maharaj said, You were destined to be reborn as a dog, but now you have been redeemed. Just as in India, if some dog come near to the mandir or an assembly, everyone had it. And not only that, but try to like throw towards that dog a stone or try to beat, him, beat it with the stick. In this way, everyone insulted a dog. In the same way, Maharaj had insulted this Anandji Sangedya for redeemed him from the next birth of dog. And Ananji had passed yet another of the Lord's toughest taste in this way. So finally Maharaj gave him a small idol of Bhagwan, meaning a Thakurji's Murti and gave him command to worship throughout his life. So Ananji had worshipped that idol and finally he gave it to his daughter and his daughter finally gave that murti to the Junagar Mandir and right now that murti is placed in the Mandir in Junagar Mandir then once Maharaj became extremely pleased upon Ananji's devotion Maharaj uh, once Ananji felt that he should go to Mumbai for earning some money so that he can uh, spend more time for the devotion if he had enough money to survive. So he is ready to go to the Mon Mumbai and before retire he came to have Maharaj Darshan. Then Maharaj asked him, where are you going? Then Ananji said, Maharaj, I want to go to Mumbai for earning some more money. Maharaj said, this morning as I was returning after having my bath, I saw a man dressed in white clothes and new shoes. When I asked him who he was, he said, I am Ananji's destiny, meaning I am uh, Ananji's fortune, his future. So I am going to Mumbai in advance so that he can get some grains for him to eat there. When Sriji Maharaj said this to Ananji, he understood. What he understood? That Maharaj didn't like to send me to Mumbai because for me the same fortune the same thing whatever I am here meaning I have no like more money and hard I have to do hard work for earning my bread in this way what tough situation today for me here in Mangrol the same situation for me in the future in the Mumbai so what's benefit to go there instead of going too far remain here in Mangrol and having the uh, and getting the benefit of having Darshan of Maharaj so while thinking so uh, Ananjibai remain in Mangrol but as Sriji Maharaj himself knew that Ananjibai had to uh, had to do struggle for earning his bread so once Sriji Maharaj visited his home and his uh, his workshop. Sriji Maharaj himself said to Ananji to prepare a beautiful and decorative wooden swing. So, wooden swing for himself. So, uh, as Ananji listened from Maharaj to make uh, for preparing a beautiful decorative wooden swing. So he understood that this is for Maharaj. But Maharaj didn't want to use that. So when he had prepared that swing, then Maharaj instructed him to present it to the Nawab, meaning the king of the mangrove. So the Nawab was, uh, when uh, Ananjibai went to the Nawab's palace with this decorative wooden swing, then even the Nawab was the Nawab was astonished to see such artistry and decorate uh, carving made by Ananji on the swing. So 
he offered some cash to pay anand ji but as maharaj had advised anand ji not to ask for cash but for a piece of a land which maharaj himself had selected so maharaj had selected the land a piece of land near anand bhai's small hut so maharaj already advised anand ji na if you give this decorative swing to nawab then nawab definitely honor you with the cash or he may be ask you to uh to give uh to know him what uh, what what was the price for this decorative swing but ask only a piece of land not any money so according to maharaj instruction when nawab asked him for the pay then anand ji bhai said no i didn't want to take any money but i want to a piece of land so that i can build there my house and i can live there so nawab the king he was very impressed because of such talented artist anand ji and so the nawab publicly honored anand ji and he even fulfill anand ji bhai's wishes and give him the piece of land now according to sri ji maharaj instruction as maharaj told him to now tilling the land he had received so at night anand ji bhai was tilling the land maharaj ji on himself help him and then some hidden treasure came out so now anand ji got this hidden treasure in ancient time in india the wealthy people they did this thing like they put all the jewelry or diamonds or gold coins put them uh, in in a big pot they cover it and they dig land and for keeping safe they use this way to keep the money or gold coins or jewelry so in this way anand ji received this hidden treasure then maharaj said this is not yours this is the king's so I took this and in the morning you should go to offer this pot of gold jewelry and gold coins to the nawab the next day anand ji went to the nawab palace and he offered this that you have given me the land as a gift and i received this from the land so please this is not mine take this then nawab said no i have given that piece of land to you so that land what was not mine that was yours so keep this all money whatever even you find even you dig more and if you find more treasure then everything of yours so in this way anand ji received a tremendous treasure tremendous gold coins and because of that he become a wealthy person not only that but as nawab himself had honor him so his reputation also increased and all the people of the mangrol they all res- give respect to anand ji bhai not only that but in this way and because of sri ji maharaj blessings anand ji was relieved of his poverty and he became a well respected citizen of the community and in this way anand ji's deep rooted virtues of faith conviction and his service earned him the praise of sri ji maharaj and the paramhansa so in this way anand ji sangedia he even though he was poor but he was not poor by heart because he had from faith in the form of sri ji maharaj he had a conviction of sri ji maharaj words and because of that he had follow each and every commands given by sri ji maharaj to him and because of that he earned a rajipo or we can say he earned the praise of sri ji maharaj and his santos and devotees and because of that not only his poverty 
washed away by maharaj but also he was become a reputed and genuine devotee of sri ji maharaj so by listening the incidents of this devotee anand ji sangedia we can get two points from this story to learn in our life one we should remain ready if we have conviction in the form of sadguru as a as a form of god then we should remain ready to follow each and every commands given by him if we are following his command then we have the conviction of his form otherwise we do not have the conviction we do not have the faith in our sadguru second point even though even though we get whatever by the blessings of our sadguru or bhagwan then we should offer all those to bhagwan because that's not ours even though we receive our virtues by the grace of maharaj and guruji we should not believe those virtues of ours those all virtues are only the property of maharaj and guruji if we try to convince our own self for these two points and follow these two points for our life then maharaj guruji and all the santos and devotees would become pleased upon us by saying this my humble jai swaminarayan shri ganesh yam maharajani